In this video, I'm gonna teach you the guitar trick, alternate picking. Okay, so this stuff and all these tricks that we've been learning so far is really great to add into your scales that you learn to turn into some guitar solos that have some extra oomph to them. Now, alternate picking is important because if we're just picking down, 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 down the whole time, also when you're doing a down, down, down picking, it can make it easier to make mistakes. Like if you are playing on a string, you know, down on the first or second string, and then you you need to come up to another string, but you decide to do a down pick on that string, well, it's a lot more effort in general to do that, but also you're more likely to hit a wrong note. Like if you're all the way down to the second string and you're coming up to the fifth string, well, you're gonna hit that fifth string faster if you do an up. Also, you're less likely to hit a wrong note if you're gonna try to do everything down, 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 you know? The key to alternate picking is to use small movements from your wrist. You don't want to do like big wrist movements because you're less likely to get the note that you want to get and you're more likely to hit the wrong string. So just small movements like this are very key. Just very small wrist movements. Also, the smaller the movement, the faster you can go. As opposed to Definite thing to make sure though is that your picking hand is very relaxed. You don't want to be tight like this. You want to just have it be very relaxed, up and down, up and down, up and down. As you pick too, you're going to want to make sure you get a good sound. You pick through the string, up and down, up and down. A great way to practice this, if you know the A minor pentatonic scale, is to use position one, which is linked to this video. You have a printable download, or if you wanna learn it, there's a video to learn it first before you do this. But this is a great way to practice because the pentatonic scale has two notes per string. So that makes it easy just to do a down and an up on each string, and then go to the next one. A great way to practice the down, up, down, up alternate picking. So I'll do that really slowly for you so you can see it. You always start really slow. I mean, slower than that, making sure your right hand, even without your left hand at all, just maybe just go down, up on each string, down, up on the sixth string, and then the fifth string, and then the fourth string, just without your left hand at all. And then adding that left hand in, whether you know the A minor pentatonic scale and stay in a position, or you try something else that you know, and just try those very slight right hand movements so that when you're freestyling or when you're working on a solo, that you're more likely to get to that next note faster and also more efficient. Sometimes you're not gonna do a down, up, down, up. You'll do a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, depending on what note you're coming from and what note you're going to. But this is why we start with just, you know, just straightforward down, up, down, up picking and go from there. So try that and see how that goes. You can look at the strings but make sure that you practice not looking at your right hand and see how that goes as well. It's very important to practice the alternate picking while not looking at your right hand. If you feel like you need to look at your right hand right away and right at first, that's totally fine, but to get to the point where you don't have to look at your right hand at all is key because you're gonna have to look at your left hand sometimes and it's really hard to look at both at the same time. So just getting rid of having to look at your right hand by practicing not looking at it while you're doing things with your left hand is so beneficial as well. So try it out if you need to. You know, you could practice in a mirror if it's kind of weird, if you're not looking at your right hand. You don't know what to practice with. You don't even have to use your left hand at all. Like I said, just do open notes or check out the position one of A minor pentatonic scale that I linked in this video with a free printable download that you can use to get to know that scale if you haven't already, but also to practice the alternate picking. 